So this video is on linear equation. So first you must know what is linear equation. So the general form of linear equation is looks uh, like this. Yeah, this is the general form. For example, you have 2 dy over dx plus um, 3xy equals to uh, 4. Okay, it must be function of x on the coefficient of dy dx, function of x on the coefficient of y, and function of x on the coefficient of uh, sorry, coefficient of x on the right hand side. So what is mean how to know that it's linear is from this. It must be y power one only. It cannot be exponent y, it cannot be sine y, it cannot cannot be what else? Ln y cannot. Okay, function of y must be only y power one. Okay, like this. Then only we can say that it's linear equation. Okay. So, how to solve if it's uh, for linear equation? First step is you need to arrange the equation to form dy over dx plus bxy equals to qx. Meaning, the coefficient of 1, we divide the whole equation by a, eh, the coefficient of dy dx. So, it will be dy over dx plus b over a y equals to c over a okay or this one is equals to p this one is equal to q so that's why we got it like this dy dx plus p y equals to q so that's it for the sec first step the second step we need to obtain the integrating factor integrating factor is this one rho okay how to write it is like this eh? rho rho we call it rho r h rho and then uh, uh, exponent we integrate the px okay the coefficient of y we integrate the rho is exponent integration of p x dx is to x. So after we have obtained the integrating factor rho, we need to multiply the integrating factor to the equation. Okay, to the first equation meaning um, this one, this one, this one. So we obtain rho to each term. Okay, after we have multiplied. We can rewrite, okay? We can rewrite in this form. In this form. How do we get like this? This is actually from here, okay? We can get this. Uh, D, uh, when we expand this, we can go, go back to this, okay? If we do product rule, we we'll get uh, dy over dx, okay? times rho plus uh, rho uh, pxy okay px is a uh, uh, from the ddx okay so that's it so you just need to straight away after you uh, multiply by rho for each term you can just straight away write in this form okay rho y is equals d over dx rho y is equals to q rho and then we simplify okay when we obtain this uh, d over dx can actually we can put integration both side so this one will be eliminate so we just left with this one okay dx dx so it will be eliminated. So the next step is this. Okay. And then uh, after you obtain the um, integration like this, you will move the row to the right hand side. In the end, the solution, the general solution will just be this one. Okay. Never mind. Let us take a look at the example. 
Okay, the first one, solve the equation. Okay, is it linear? Yeah, we see at the power at y function. So here, the y function is this one. So it's y power 1 only. Okay, so this one is linear. There's no more at y any, uh, somewhere else, only x. So this linear equation. So let us, first step is we need to divide by the coefficient of dy dx. So it will be dy over dx plus y over x equals to x power 3 over x. So now it will be plus y over x plus x squared. Eh, sorry, equals to x squared because we can cancel this. Okay. So next is uh, we need to find the integrating factor. Okay, the integrating factor is this one, eh? the coefficient of y. Okay, here the coefficient of y is 1 over x. So, rho is equals to 1 over x. Eh, sorry, qx. Q, uh, Px, p is equals to 1 over x. p is equals to 1 over x. q is equals to x squared. So, the integrating factor rho is equals to exponent integration of 1 over x dx, which is equals to ln x. Okay, yep. sorry. Exponent ln x. Okay, which is equals to x. Okay, so rho equals to x. So, next we will multiply rho to each. Okay, to the equation here, to the linear equation. Okay, rho is x, so to the multiply by x. x plus y over x times x equals to x squared times x. Okay, now we rewrite it. d over dx will be rho y, eh? rho y, x y equals to x power 3. Okay. As simple as that. Okay. Now, um, we will integrate both sides. Okay. Dx. So, xy is equals to x power 3 over 3. x power 4 over 4 plus c. Okay, or you can put C at the end. So, Y is equals to X power 4 divided by 4X plus C. So, it's actually y equals to x power 3 over 4 plus c. Well, I think we better write like this. Okay. X, uh, we may integrate x power 4 over 4. So, plus c. Right. And then, we bring... x to this side will be x power 4 over 4x plus c over x. Am I right? Okay, that's it. Okay, if you simplify, you will get y equals to x power 3 over 4 plus C over X. Okay, that's it. Okay, for the second one. Okay, it's already a uh, uh, coefficient 1 here. The coefficient is already 1 here. So, we proceed um, to find the um, row. So, your P is equal to negative 1. Q is equal to 2 exponent X. So, your row is equal to 
integrate exponent integration of negative 1 dx which is equals to exponent negative x so your row is exponent negative x so now we multiply rho which is exponent negative x to each of the term exponent negative x exponent x okay. so now it can be written as d over dx of um, exponent uh, rho y exponent negative x y Okay, so you just straight away convert like this, okay. and then to exponent negative x times exponent x, so you get exponent negative exponent zero, which is equal to two. Okay, so now you have to integrate both set, both sides, so exponent negative x y is equal to two x plus c. So y is equals to 2x plus c divided by exponent negative x. Okay, so the answer if you want to rewrite again, 2x exponent x plus c exponent x. That's it. Okay, second example. So the next example. Okay, so this is not in general form. So you need to move it. So let's become the general form first for number three. Yeah. So I will move this term. So x squared plus nine. Oh sorry, sorry. We will move the whole term here. So dy over dx plus xy divided by x squared plus nine equals to zero. Okay. Hmm, that's it. So your p is equals to x over x squared plus nine. Q is equals to zero. So your rho is equals to exponent integration of x over x squared plus nine. So what's the answer when you integrate this one? So if you use substitution, finally you will obtain exponent ln x squared plus 9. Mm, 1 over 2. 1 over 2 ln k. So this one, okay, we can get it equals to x squared plus 9 power 1 over 2. This is your row. Okay, next is um, we multiply the row to each of the term. So we obtain x squared plus 9 so I now change it to square root eh? dy over dx plus xy x squared plus 9 squared plus 9 equals to 0 so here it will be x squared plus 9 y equals d over dx eh? don't forget equals to 0 so integrate Zero, you will get C constant. Here is x squared plus nine y. So y is mm, C divided by x squared plus nine. That's it. Okay. So the next example solve the equation okay this one so it's already on in a linear general form so your p is equals to tangent x q is equals to cos x 
So rho is equal to exponent integration of tangent x. So integration of tangent x will get the answer equals to So, integrate tangent x, we get exponent uh, ln secant x, right? So, rho is equals to secant x, okay? Secant x is equals to 1 over cos x. So, we multiply 1 over cos x. So, we multiply to the, divide it to the whole equation here. We will get it equals to um, secant x dy over dx plus y secant x tangent x equals to cos x secant x. Okay. So we write again d over dx is y over cos x. Okay. Because it's secant 1 over cos x equals to secant x is equals to Mm, cos x over cos x times secant x will be 1. So integrate. We we'll obtain y cos x equals to x plus c. So x is here. So y is equals to x cos x plus c cos x. So now we want to Substitute. Okay, the limit here. I'm sorry, the condition here. So y equals to one, x equals to zero. So this one is one. This one is zero. So c must be equals to one. So in the end, we obtain y is equals to x cos x plus Cos x. So that's it. So this are uh, some uh, uh, exercise for you. So please do this, complete this exercise and submit it as exercise one point three. Okay. All the best to you. If if you have any question, please let me know. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much.